Hey guys, Professor Prime here at MyGenPlanet.com and today we are taking a look at our very first for the channel, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the Masterverse line. This is the very first figure I'm reviewing for the channel from Mattel. Now I have a, I have some He-Man figures, like it's, I have some He-Man pops and this is not my first He-Man figure I purchased. However, I'm doing this one first. Obviously you guys have saw the video where I got to, I talked about getting two of them like a couple of weeks ago now and I know it's been a while and I apologize for that. It's just a lot of things I needed to get lined up and ready to go before I could really start rolling and getting these videos done the way I want to do them. And I'm happy how they're done. Let's take a look at the packaging. This packaging is, I love the new pack. I love the new packaging. And this is, this is my third figure for the uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation. This is Revolution. So this is Sorcha Latila. I'm going to say right now, Revolution was amazing. It was, it was a great show and I'm probably going to do a video talking about the show on the channel here, just like a little review, but let's take a look at the box on the back. You also have got a uh, Skeletor in his new tech form. We've got Trap Jaw. We've got the classic Man of Arms and again, okay, obviously this is uh, Sorcerer Artila and she's got a cape and she's got the, the uh, staff, uh, the Sorcerer for Grace Skull. This is, it's a really good package. I, I just like, and I love, I love, it's probably hard to see here. Yeah, right there. I love, I love that. Like the original Sorcerer, her mom kind of like a silhouette in the background i love that and i love the artwork this is i'm not gonna lie this is one of those boxes i kind of want to keep kind of want to keep this box i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you guys so let's get her out of the box here let's get her see how easily this will come out because a lot of times these figures do not come out the greatest i don't i don't know if that's oh her hands. All right, so we've got Sorcha Latila here, and I'm gonna say this right off the bat. I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. The cloth cape, that was unexpected. I expected like, I don't know, I, I just, I, I expected like like plastic. So the fact that this is a cloth cape is is pretty impressive. Uh, one thing that, and it comes with some accessories and we'll take a look at those in a second here. And, and this is like a, like this, this, this her dress, her, her, her overdress is like a soft plastic. It's a really soft plastic. I had expected her cape to be made out of this. So the fact that they went with this kind of material is bravo mattel bravo bravo before we dive into the initial figure let's take a look at the accessories first she comes with an extra pair of hands one is like an open hand and the other one is also an opening hand so yeah I th okay they're both the same they look like they were different so they have his open hands that's cool I, I like that i like that so you can you can mix and match and then obviously she comes with the your standard fist hand but it is a soft plastic so you can still like kind of open it so that's pretty cool right there she also comes with her staff i'm not gonna lie i wish it had some paint on it i wish it had some maybe maybe a little bit more accents to make the ridges of the wings of the staff stand out a little bit more. Obviously it can be custom, you can customize it. I don't know if that's the thing I will do. I haven't, yeah, it's just a standard white plastic. It's a soft plastic, so it bends. You know, it, you don't probably don't wanna bend it too much. You'll snap it, but it's it's got, it's got some wiggle room to it. So that's nice. So let's take a look at the articulation. So she's got, it's supposed to have 30 points of articulation. So I'm not gonna really count it out, I believe it. So you got elbow up, down. You also can twist it this way i'm not gonna say tila's pretty buff i gotta be careful because i just took this out of the package so it might still be you got a double jointed elbow so you can get some really good range the fist wrist articulation basically turns around there's no hand articulation because it's swappable hands and then for the legs she does have very limited very limited very limited movement with the legs and mainly because of this skirt now i understand why it's a soft plastic and it might just be because i don't I, and i here i am like pushing up her dress trying to get underneath her dress here to to get some of the articulation and i so she's got right so she's got the articulations there that's about as far as i'm getting and yeah, you can see right here, she's got thigh swivel. And then she's also got a double jointed 
knee. You can see right there, she's got the double jointed knee as well. And then for her feet articulation, you've got downwards, you got upwards, and you got a little bit of side. It looks like it should be side to side. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, you got, so it twist. So you get the, so it's like, this is pretty standard. And then I think you got, I think it's, a, I think it's a one millimeter port the, or the two millimeter port peg on the bottom. So if you do have issues standing her up or if you want to put her in a really crazy dynamic pose, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do of her limited leg articulation with the dress. And then she's got, uh, she's got a, I love, she's got an app. She, no, she's got a little, okay. She's got upward movement for the chest. So there's no waist articulation. So there's no, nothing on the waist, but her articulation is at the chest level. So it's like just on top a little bit down. Uh, you can move it down a little bit, but because of the chest plate and like this point here, it it, it doesn't, but you do get a little bit back. So she can look up and then for the head, uh, she's got crazy hair. I wish the hair was a bit more rubbery so it could move around a bit more. It's, it's a hard rubber. This is a very hard rubber, but you can get, you, she can look down. The joint can look up, but the hair prevents it. And then you can turn to the left, you can turn to the right. I mean, you kind of force a confused dog look. Kind of can, you kind of do it. Uh, the head sculpt, let's take a look at the head sculpt. The head sculpt is, it's pretty accurate to the show, like the cartoon. Like it looks pretty good. She's, she's got a very blank, very like, you know what I mean? Like when you ask me to do something and they're just like, is one of those very like, I don't want to say, I don't want to say like, like whatever looks, but I wish that there was a swappable head. And I believe this figure retail for 20, I got this on Amazon for 25, $26. I do wish there was a bit more, I don't know, like, I feel like this head would pop off. I feel like it could pop off. And I wish they had given like an alternate head, maybe with different, like, especially if you're going to mold the hair like this and not make it where I can move the hair to the side or anything like that, giving her a different kind of whooshy hairstyle, like maybe like blowing up a bit and then give her like more of a, like, like an angry look, like she's fighting or like a like a softer look or something or just like a shocked look anything like that you know take a look at the not to say hey let's look at her chest i i like i like the outfit the the the, the sorcerer outfit on the chest plates is really cool it gives me and then with the cape it reminds me of like the omega white ranger i think it's the omega white ranger or the omega green ranger from power rangers from the boom studio comics it had like a i think they had capes i'm not gonna lie this cape is pretty awesome the boots you know the, the paints paint apps are really good it, all in all guys it's a good figure final thought guys uh sorcerer tila it's a great figure no doubt about it it was a great show i was pleasantly surprised by it as those of you who watched my amazon uh what's in the box video a couple of weeks ago when i when i when i got this figure and i pulled it out of the box you guys know i got two of them and i and i gave one to mr j it's a great figure i plan on getting probably gonna get the updated suit version of he-man if they release that figure i will get that one getting also the well i'm thinking about getting the atom too and i also have thinking about getting the Orko and Weirdo uh, two-pack set as well if it's still available because those figures usually go pretty quickly. It's a great figure. I don't have a lot of negatives. I will say some of my negatives that I do have is the articulation of the legs are hindered greatly due to a skirt dress. I'm sure if I had a bit more time to fiddle with it, I probably could get her in more of like a, like a battle stance. The other thing that I have an issue with is I wish it came with a second head sculpt just so that you get more of a dynamic pose with the face because the face is pretty blank but it's not really it's not really a negative it's just something that i wish they had added i'm not going to complain too much because yes we might get a second head sculpt but then where do we sacrifice when it comes to articulation or pain applications i recommend picking it up it's a i'll give it a i'm going to give it a four out of five and the only reason i'm the only reason it's because one you can never get a perfect figure i love how great it looks but it just it's not enough for me to say it's a crap figure and maybe a little bit more range of the head like maybe so like she could look fully upwards or have more of a tilt to the head yeah guys if you enjoyed watching this video this is my first he-man master of the universe review thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and check out this one right here in the corner and as always guys until next time